Hi, I'm meteorologist Ashley Brawweiler, and on this last episode of Homeschool, I'm going to answer a few of the most popular weather questions I get. Weather affects us on a daily basis, but how do we as meteorologists know what's coming? Well, over the last 50 years, technology such as Doppler radars and weather satellites have improved the accuracy in forecasting, but there are still some times where we don't get it quite right. It all starts with a weather balloon. There are 62 balloons that are released two to four times a day across Canada and normally at the airport. Inside the weather balloon is a device called a radio zone and measures the conditions of the atmosphere up to 40 kilometers in the sky. We talked about a similar device used to measure the atmosphere in a hurricane. These conditions are then plugged into a supercomputer and used to come up with the forecast models that we use every day to help us predict the weather. Another question I get a lot is how and why does the tide go in and out? Well, there are three factors, the sun, the moon, and the earth, and the gravitational pull of all three. But the biggest factor is the moon. The gravitational pull of the moon causes what is known as the tidal force, and that causes the water to bulge out where the moon is closest and furthest away from the earth. Where the water is bulging, this is high tide, and since earth rotates, we pass through these areas twice a day. When we're not in those areas, it's low tide. One of the most popular weather questions I get is how does a tornado form? Well, we need cold, dry air coming from one direction to bump into some warm, moist air coming from a different direction. The cold air will slide under the warm air and push it up. And while doing that, it cools and condenses forming a cumulonimbus cloud. This is a thunderstorm. When there is a change in the wind speed as you go up in the sky, this causes the air to rotate horizontally. Eventually, the warm rising air pushes the rotating air and tips it over. This is a funnel cloud and will build downwards. Once the funnel cloud reaches the ground, it becomes a tornado. Finally, why is the sky blue and why are sunsets red? Well, there are millions of tiny particles in the atmosphere that help scatter the light. If we shine light through a prism, we'll see a bunch of different colors, and each of those different colors has a different wavelength. Blue is the shortest wavelength, which makes it easier to scatter, so that's why we see blue most of the time in our sky. Red is the longest wavelength. When the sun is low on the horizon, the rays have further to travel, and once those rays hit the clouds, they scatter, and that's why we see red. Well, that's it for our homeschool series. Hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about the weather. See you soon. Mm -hmm.